In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up GA4 purchase event with parameters on our website with Google Tag Manager. So let's see. This is the website. I will set up the tag on this website with Google Tag Manager for this GA4 account. First of all, let's see which informations we should pass as parameters from our website to GA4 account with the event purchase. I have a tab open which is GA4 document. From here, if I select purchase, then it says to send currency, transaction ID, value, coupon, shipping, tax, items, parameters. So we should create some variables for these parameters. All of these parameters are not required. First we will send required parameters and then as much as possible. So let's create these parameters. I have created some of these parameters in previous videos. I am not going to repeat that here. I will just create here transaction ID, shipping and tax. And the rest I have already created. So now I will go to Google Tag Manager preview mode. Enter here your website URL and click on connect. Tag assistant connected. Now let's purchase a product. Add to card. Then view card. Then proceed to checkout. After giving all of this required information, place order. Our purchase is complete. Now let's go to tag assistant tab and click on continue. If I select from here purchase then go to data layer then we should get all of the information about the purchased product. Here you go the transaction ID, value, tax, shipping etc. So let's create the variable now. Go to Google Tag Manager and then go to variable section. From user defined variables take a new variable, variable configuration, data layer variable and the variable name will be go to tag assistant tab and copy from here e-commerce and then copy transaction id go to google tag manager and paste here e-commerce then dot then transaction id give the variable the name i'm going to name it transaction id and then save again take a new one variable configuration data layer variable and the variable name go to tag assistant tab and then copy from here tags go to google tag manager and paste here e-commerce then dot then tags give the variable a name i'm going to name it tags then save again take a new variable variable configuration data layer and the name will be copy from here shipping go to google tag manager and paste here e-commerce dot and then shipping give the variable a name i'm going to name it shipping then save okay our variables are ready now let's create a trigger go to trigger section take a new trigger trigger configuration and then custom event the event name will be go to tag assistant tab and from the top of the data layer copy event name purchase and then paste here purchase give the trigger a name i'm going to name it purchase then save now let's create the tag go to tags take a new tag tag configuration then google analytics google analytics g4 event give here the measurement id i have created a variable for measurement id so i'm going to insert here that variable g4 id event name will be purchase like we have copied a while ago now we should configure the parameters so go to event parameters here you need six parameter so add parameter And the parameter name will be exactly what j4 gives us in its document so go to the document and copy from here currency and then copy transaction id then copy value and then copy shipping tax items go to google tag manager and paste here the names items then tax then shipping value transaction id currency 
the value of items parameter will be the variable that I have created in previous video. So I'm going to insert here that variable items and then text. Then text parameters value will be the variable that I have created a while ago. I'm going to insert here that text. Then shipping. Then value. Then transaction ID. And then currency. Now we should configure the trigger. So simply go to triggering. Click on triggering big button. And the trigger will be the purchase. Then give the tag a name. I'm going to name it GA4 purchase. Then save. Okay, our tag is ready. Now it's time to check if the purchase tag is working properly. So let's go to preview again. Along with I will go to GA4 account debug view to see if the event is coming here also. So go to debug view. Now let's go back to preview mode and purchase an item. Add to card, view card, then proceed to checkout. After filling up all the requirements, then place an order. Here you go, our purchase is complete. Now let's go to tag assistant tab. Click on continue. We can see here our GA4 purchase tag is fired. Now let's go to GA4 account to see the event. So go to Google Analytics. Here you go, our purchase event is also coming in our GA4 account. If you click on the purchase, then we will get all the parameters that we have configured with this event, like shipping, tax, value, currency, etc. Now we should publish the Google Tag Manager version, otherwise it will not be working in the real cases. So let's go to Google Tag Manager and submit. Give the version a name and then publish. So that's it in this video. If you have any question or suggestion, feel free to write down in the comment box. I will reply that as much as possible. And if you need my service, then I'm a professional freelancer working on Fiverr and also working on Upwork. I'm providing my services on these marketplaces. You can place an order here. Otherwise, you can contact me on this WhatsApp number or on this Gmail. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below the video and consider subscribing to my channel. So, see you in another video. Until then, goodbye. Thank you so much.